Hi guys, uh, as you can see I've got that jewelry out of that snapper and what I've done is I've gone out and cleaned all the bones so they're your bones that make up the jaw so this is phase one, cleaning the bones, I've already done it so all I did was I got a, um, a toothbrush and um, some warm water and a toothpick and basically I just pulled all the meat off, scrubbed it gently I had three teeth fall out <clears throat> and I used super glue to glue the teeth back in so as you can see um, that one there's got a little bit of glue hanging around the outside of it but it's been glued back in um, so that one there because it fell out it went up into this part here and coming out and another couple of teeth on that jaw there coming out which I glued back in there are some teeth missing some ground down but that's what happens when you get to an old fish so um, now phase two is to use hydrogen peroxide um, that's three percent they recommend six percent for up to an hour um, for a big jaw i'm going to leave it in there for an hour and a half and then basically i'm going to take it out and i'm going to um, take it out and basically what i'm going to do is stick it in the sun for 24 hours once i've done that then it'll be time to uh, put it together and uh, glue it up so it looks like a proper jaw and then we'll find somewhere or a piece of wood or a nice bit of uh, background there to mount it to so um, at this stage, that's where I'm up to with it, and um, yeah, I'm going to um, do the peroxide now. So I'll pour that in, and uh, yeah, this is how it goes. Stick it up in there to fully cover the bones. And this will do three things really. It's going to do three things to these bones. The first one is going to um, take off any bit of meat or grime that I haven't that I haven't got off. So if I've missed something, it's going to take that off. Um, the second thing it's going to do is it's going to um, make them whiter. And then the third thing, of course, is that there's a little bit of a sm fish smell still there, and it'll take off all the smell um, of fish off it. So they, they're your main things it's going to do. So I'll cover that right up, so I don't want any bones sticking out. It needs to be all done. I've used a whole um, one litre of it, and that's the only reason, the sole purpose I bought it for, so I don't care if I use it all. Some people might say um, use less, but look, at the end of the day, I want it to be... Um, done once and done properly and I poke that under so it stays under which it is now and there we go there so that's all the pieces we've got in there and that's three percent hydrogen peroxide and um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it in there for an hour and a half and then what I'm gonna do is just pull them out and basically I'm just going to um, let them dry um, in the Sun pretty much put them somewhere nice place dry place in the window or something um, until this time tomorrow and then she should be uh, ready to uh, yeah put back together so that's what we're up to guys and I'll uh, do a video of um, getting the super glue out and putting it together to make it look like a jaw cheers so what I've done now guys is I've just tipped out the peroxide um, on the lawn and I've picked up the pieces put them back in the ice cream container and I'm just going to let them dry in the sun um, they've gone a little bit, they're a lot cleaner and they've gone a little bit whiter than when they were before too which is really good. So um, all the pieces are going to dry now, I'll leave them in there for about half an hour. Then I'm going to put them in the shed overnight and then we're going to look at uh, putting it together. Cool, Just hopefully it all works. Cheers. Alright, so I've done all my pieces onto this. So there's a jaw support bone, just fits like a puzzle straight onto the jaw on both sides. So it looks like that. Pretty easy. Um, the bottom one, obviously the uh, the cheekbone just slides straight into there on both sides. So you got that bit that slides in there, glued along there. Same on the other side, and that's what we're up to. So those those pieces. Stick a bit of glue in here for for making it a bit stiffer. Do that now. Yep, so I've just got that over there dripping on the, on the towel, but that should um, 
Mission hold. Can hold it a bit better. Don't want to glue it to the don't want to glue it to the table. So make sure that we don't um, get glue. Of this sticking to the table. So get that dry. So in the um, glue inside there just stiffens up the jaw a little bit. If it does break, just glue it back together. But they are fragile; they do open and shut a little bit. I'm sure people have done it where they've broken. So um, I'm sticking a little bit of glue around the edges and that just to stiffen it up a bit. So. It has a little bit more support when I'm moving it to the top jaw and we're about to mount the top jaw so we'll see what that looks like in a second. Get it glue ready. Had half a used one the other day so I'll put one in here. Good to go. Here's our bottom jaw. Okay, so for the top jaw, what I'm going to do is just see these parts here. This sits on the outside there. I'm just going to glue it to where I think it should sit. So where the rod of a high high neck. I'm just going to bring that over. Morning, bub. And put that on like that. So it's going to end up like that. Do that on both sides, and then put the horns together in the middle. And that will be our jaw. So you can open it to whatever you prefer, wide or not real wide. I'm going to open mine to about about there. So, yeah, she's good. So when it shuts, it shuts directly on top like it should as a mouth. Some people will glue them like that so they can see the teeth. I want it open a little bit like that. So that's the angle I'm going to go on. Cool. Glue this on. I'll show you the results. Hi, hi guys. Here we go. It's all done. I've uh, glued it up. We'll get some uh, close-up footage of it here. I'll spin the paper. So that's the 25 pound snapper jaw. All glued up together now. It's quite a lot of teeth on this bugger. But it looks mean, so I'm going to get a uh, proper bit of native wood and mount it on there. And I'm going to put a photo of me holding the full fish. And on the other side at the back I'm going to have the lure it was caught on. So you can have the jaw, the lure it was caught on and me holding the whole fish in its entirety. So that's what's going to happen. Next next few weeks I'll uh, go and um, get a piece of wood. And yeah, look at that puppy. She's glued up well. And oh, shut up and fish. Yeah, it's a good hat that. But anyway, yeah, so there guys, that's uh, glued up, ready to go, and she's all ready to mount now, so once I get a nice piece of native timber and um, get it all sorted, they'll be getting mounted. Awesome, cheers. Here it is guys, the finished product of my mount. You've got the uh, lure. If I wet that, you can still see it flash, it still works, you can see it flashing there behind my finger. Um, that's the lure that actually caught this fish, a 25 pound snapper, 11.4 kilos. A couple of uh, photos up there of, of its entirety. And then of course you've got the um, jaw which has come up the trumps really, it's come up really good. Um, on the matai wood. Um, so yeah, nice little bit of a um, feature there. So basically I'm going to get a plaque, it's being made at the moment. And it's got the um, details of where it was caught, who, by, on the kayak, at what time. Um, and on the what rig it was used, which is obviously the glow bite case slider. That's a glow bite case slider for those who don't know what they are um, The light flashes as shown before when it's activated in the water. Very very um, Successful lure that that's caught the John Dory the Gurnet and the snapper and all the past videos the same rig And then it's caught this one so I've retired it put it on the shelf got another orange 85 gram case slider on the uh, rod ready to catch some more so I'm getting the plaque made up and it's going to sit about there in a square with all the details. So that's the um, finished product of my mount. Hopefully it gives you some ideas of um, jaw. Obviously um, I had to break my video parts down because it took too long and bits fell apart and didn't really go smoothly. I had to work on it a bit. 
So I've just got the bits once I've glued together and, and explained my way through the video of, of how I've done it. Um, but that's the end result. Cracker. Keep it real, guys. Thanks.